Well, there's a lot of rain down south oh, over the last week with uh, Milton there in Grand Rapids in West Michigan. We had our first significant rainfall since early September. And with that, it was our rainiest two day stretch since the middle of July. As it stands now, the lingering showers from this with a northerly wind, mostly lake enhanced moisture, but there is a pretty steady shower there in southern Calhoun County moving into St. Joseph and Branch counties as well. So if you're just west of Coldwater, uh, you're in line to see some showers in just west of I-69 here through the rest of the morning. That'll fizzle out. We do have mixes of sunshine and cloud cover here. I think the clouds off of Lake Michigan with a light wind shift today will see those clouds build back in, especially low lying cumulus clouds. There will still be some pockets of sun. Rain will mainly be focused west of US 131, especially southwest Michigan, parts of Van Buren, Cass and Berrien counties, the usual sector for that steady north flow for some moisture here today. That's the only focus of rain into early tomorrow morning, but through Tuesday afternoon and beyond, we enter another really dry stretch here in West Michigan. High pressure builds in and it's going to warm our temperatures back up as well. Here's the blue skies in Montcalm County. Fall colors really starting to show themselves as well. And there's the cloud deck over Lake Michigan looking off to the west here this morning. A pretty good view of the cloud cover. Uh, some higher clouds here directly overhead, but you can see the low lying uh, lake effect cloud cover that's directly over the lake shore further to the west. That's where the rain uh, is being produced as well. Waves though going to be noticeable today. Pretty breezy out of the north this morning. Some waves are well over three to four feet here on the north side piers. Uh, so small craft advisor, even though uh, boating season is pretty much all but done. 38 in Grand uh, Greenville now warming things back up. 45 in Kalamazoo, 46 in Three Rivers. This is going to be one of the chilliest days we've had in quite some time as afternoon highs are only going to be in the low to mid 50s. I think Kalamazoo will reach 54, 55. Grand Rapids right around 53 degrees. All right, wind today as we head through the afternoon will slowly wind down, but it's going to stay out of the north and east, and that is normally our cooler and drier wind here. Again, that's going to keep so much of that moisture right along the immediate lakeshore. Overnight tonight is going to be something to watch with the winds, not necessarily the direction, but how strong. If it can get under five miles per hour for a sustained period of time, we could see temperatures drop significantly overnight. So Grand Rapids right now forecast of 34 degrees with a fairly light north wind. Along the lake shore, still a few more clouds, but we are under a freeze warning from midnight until 9 a.m. here for Tuesday, and that includes all communities along I-94 up towards Big Rapids and just south of US 10. So the majority of West Michigan included in that really everything along except for uh, the uh, state line. 34 in Grand Rapids, a lot of low lying communities will reach that freezing mark. 50 for Tuesday afternoon's high, still an isolated shower. But it is going to be breezy and it's the coolest day of the week. Things only improve from there. Lots of sunshine and temperatures back to the 70s for what looks like a really pleasant end of the week and weekend.